Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2021. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's great to have you here on my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, we do weekly and monthly horoscope updates for your astrology sign specifically when it comes to your highest good in love and life and helping you to reach your greatest soul purpose here on Earth. So if you want to join the Soul Family and be part of the mission, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. And do me a favor, if you enjoy or found, find this content valuable, hit that like button. It uh, helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people. Um, Taurus, let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to do a channeled tarot reading for you here after opening up the ceremony. Remember that these energies are for your highest good in love and in life. They may have to do with the areas of love. They may have to do with the areas of life. We're just going to see whatever comes through from the divine today for the month of June 2021. Here we go. Opening the ceremony now for my beautiful Tauri, signs of Taurus. Uh, calling on the collective spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels, and archangels for Taurus, specifically for the month of June of 2021. Spirit guides and loved ones, please allow me to channel for the highest good and healing now and in the future through the power of unconditional love for Taurus. Thank you so much for your service. The ceremony is now open. What do we got for Taurus? Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Money, money, money. Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. These are on your mind. Okay. Money and abundance and potentially freedom and empowerment through abundance and cultivation of abundance. This month of June is your month to shine when it comes to money and making new stands when it comes to money. Okay, New frontiers when it comes to the amount of abundance that easily and comfortably comes to you. Um, so that you can enjoy the fruits of life and the fruits of your labor and enjoy the merits of life itself. Okay, um, this is your main priority or focus, and it may be the thing that you are wanting to enjoy and to bring more of into your life here. Okay, and I think it feels like there's a deeper purpose behind money. It's not just money to have money; it's money for a deeper or grander purpose for yourself, really and also for the world later on, but really starting with yourself. Like, what are the reasons that you want money or to engage with money or to be with money, right? Um, what are you gonna use it for? What do you really want in your life? What do you want to be able to enjoy? How will that money help you to be of service for others, but also more selfishly, what is it that you've always wanted to experience but haven't been able to because of a lack of finances? These are the questions here, Taurus, that you're seeking to answer and pursuing um, with new ways of accumulating money in the month of June of 2021. The questions you're exploring. King of Wands, the Six of Wands, wow, and the Emperor. Talk about power, talk about authority, and pa talk about uh, being driven in a certain direction. Look at this, riding proudly on a horse here of justice, of victory, of, of prosperity here, and the Emperor. Taurus, all you have to do is take a seat on your throne this month. Um, you know what I mean? It's like the the money and the thing you're going to be seen as very, very much recognized for who you are and what you're doing. Um, very much already naturally prosperous just in your beingness alone. Um, and you, I feel like you're just claiming that this month, like you're just stepping into a place of like, yes, I'm owning all that I am and all that I deserve in this lifetime for me. And if you haven't already, then I highly recommend stepping into that energy of being able to effortlessly accumulate finances for your own beingness and worth here. Yeah, I'm almost getting the vibe here. We see this King of Wands here and the Emperor are kind of like, hey, uh, it's kind of this vibe like bow down to me, you know, bow down to me for all that I am. And it's not in an egotistical way, um, but there is a big victory when it comes to you identifying with yourself as someone who is, you know, powerful and prosperous and other people seeing you as that. So enjoy the celebration, enjoy the power, enjoy the authority, um, enjoy the gifts that others uh, see you as or would like to share with you. Ten of Wands, this is because of your hard work. So you've been through a lot, you've been holding a lot, you are responsible for a lot and you're about to be even more responsible. One thing I'm hearing for you is your leadership or your prosperity comes through your leadership. Your, your prosperity comes through your leadership. 
okay so the way that others give to you or celebrate you or allow you to accumulate what you need is from your uh, representation of who you are where you come from and your leadership of others in service okay that's the main thing so whatever you can do or whatever you've been invited to this month to transition into uh, that's going to allow you to carry more of a load that would be helpful for others or help you to be more of a leader that's where your money will come from that's where you'll get this money coming in to you so but you have right ten of wands you've been carrying a heavy load of responsibility going through quite a bit going through the work of it all grinding a bit right holding a lot of responsibility or weight on your shoulders and it's finally paying off this is definitely a karmic gift um, now nine of pentacles shows me that there's still more to go okay normally I, I've, I've been channeling this as someone wanting to give finances to you this could be the case but um, in this way of representation I'm seeing you know that there's this isn't the end of the journey this is only the beginning of the journey you may have reached an, an incredible milestone of celebrating who and what you are but you know that there's much more to go on this journey and you are looking forward or hopefully you're looking forward to continuing on it step by step moment by moment here okay so you're about to embark on something really really incredible for the for yourself and the world two of Pentacles the high priestess and the hierophant the first words I hear are you just can't be bothered right now okay you can't be bothered right now and the reason I'm saying that is because it's just there's so many things that you have juggling back and forth or going on or that you're handling in your life that it's you're you're engaged fully with that you're consumed within that right which is a good thing um, so it's almost like and, and if you're not that this is the where the energy wants to take you right to be so consumed with your everyday activities of what you're doing who you're becoming where you're growing into where you're going um, that you lose yourself within it this is the the ecstasy and the fundamental process of life right now the opportunity it has to engage with you to consume you so fully that you forget yourself within it truly the beautiful essence of Taurus as I'm channeling this right is to be so engaged with earth and life that he or she forgets herself really Taurus the feminine sign within it right you can see the nine of Pentacles is what so they want you to just be so in and, and in love with 3d real life and the activities going on and the people and the relationships and the all these things that you just are can't be bothered <laughs> right in a very prosperous and happy way hierophant and the high priestess whoa where did that come from so there's a spiritual match spiritual union spiritual pair here showing up right next to each other um yeah you know and this is uh you know interestingly this is kind of uh where i'm getting the vibe of like can't be bothered very interesting that you can see here the hierophant has one hand up kind of like this pushing away this high priestess <laughs> like i can't be bothered right now so i'm kind of getting a vibe that you might be pushing someone away uh pushing someone away energetically maybe or on a spiritual level um because you can't be bothered because you're so concerned with earthly life and all of the workings going on so there might be something someone or something again on an energetic level maybe a spiritual match to you or someone you feel who is a counterpart on a spiritual or 5d level or yeah that, that's kind of what it feels like actually um who is just kind of like eh, you're you're not really wanting to engage with the other thing that you this might be is like uh this this representation of a former way of being which is just being silent about uh, your intuition and um, the mystical part of yourself so I feel like this month you're really coming out of your shell and using this or being seen and expressing yourself out in the world and it's kind of like you're not wanting to engage too deeply with your uh, thoughts feelings or intuition at this time because you're so busy with all these other things now the page of pentacles this keeps showing up and the queen of swords okay um there's that there's that element of really being or strike coming into life or being in life in a very logical manner not really engaging too much with the heart you could see the queen of swords is across from the high priestess i tend to connect those two cards one and five here 
in my personal style of reading. And so you can see the Queen of Swords is really just saying to her, either her feelings or her heart or her, her deep thoughts, uh, I really can't engage with you right now in this moment, High Priestess representation of myself. I really have to be out there in the world doing my thing, taking care of business and um, receiving and engaging with pentacles, really, abundance and real life for the time being. So it's almost like you're kind of putting your intuition, hearts and feelings away um, so that you can usher in, you can see this Queen of Swords ushering in uh, a new way of being uh, completely and fully or taking care of some business. And I do get actually the vibe here, Page of Pentacles, that um, this is support. This is support wanting to come in for you um, in the form of, it's some type of tangible support or offer or opportunity. I actually, I feel like this is representative of multiple sources, like multiple opportunities, multiple sources of gifts or opportunities or even jobs or just things that would want to be offered to you because of your energy and who you are. And I really actually feel the other message is to be very discerning about that and to kind of evaluate each one to see if it really is in alignment with where you want to go and who you want to be. And if it's alignment with in alignment with true soul abundance, meaning is it coming to me effortlessly for who I naturally am or do I have to put a lot of effort into trying to do this thing to gain money because that's no longer in resonance I feel with you. So look for that thing. Knight of Cups here. The Hierophant and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Um, interesting. So Knight of Cups, the first vibe I got here. Um, there may be, again, I keep getting like someone on an energetic level who may be trying to or attempting to or at least energetically like to appease you or to romance you or to just kind of come into your to your energy and maybe kind of uh, sway you or swayed you in a certain way. Uh, think of the romancer here. But I feel like this is more on an energetic level. Uh, and I feel like you're, again, putting that hand up to like, uh, I'm not really. And even this could be potential suitors that want to engage with you romantically. And I still feel like uh, you're just like not really wanting to engage with romance on that level right now. Because um, you're more in, look at this, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Actually, we have a match here showing up. Interestingly, in Aries, we had uh, we had the Sun and the Moon show up. And now we're getting the Queen and King of Wands here. Or I'm, Yeah, Queen and King of Wands here showing up. Um so this, and we have the Hierophant and the, and the High Priestess. So look, I'm just going to say it, that there is someone here in your life that you feel or know, at least on an energetic level, probably and possibly a twin flame connection or twin soul connection or whatever you'd like to label it, but someone who you have a deep soul 5D spiritual energetic connection with that is in and involved in your energy by default. <laughs> Right, representative of the Queen and King of Wands, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. And again, I feel that this counterpart energy, even though they may try to give you some type of energetic romancing or feeling or offer or something like that, or they may be creeping back into your energy, you're kind of shutting it down and saying, no, I'm not really wanting that. And the reason why, Seven of Pentacles, you've, um, you know, that, that part of life, uh, and I'm getting that this is around uh, romance specifically, uh, has gotten a little stale or stagnant, or it's just not, it, there's just not a lot of life there right now, right? It's kind of just like, um, and also, I mean, this is Seven of Pentacles. I see this person kind of crafting, crafting the Pentacles, if you see this, right? It's like this person's so busy um, with the things going on in their life and and actually crafting or designing how they're going to create their freedom, Star of David, or the star generally is representative of freedom. I just learned that recently. Um, that they can't be bothered with anything uh, having to do with romance or, and especially a twin flame connection. And this is definitely some type of counterpart twin flame connection for sure. Absolutely, they're saying. Hanged Man and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so there's there it is. So, um,
you know, five of pentacles with the knight of cups, this, this offer or this love or this romance that wants to come in. Yeah, that wants to come in to your life that you're kind of saying, ah, it's coming from a place of desolation, destitution, sadness, um, place of just kind of incoherence, like not really from as genuine or as full of a place uh, as would be maybe appropriate or for the highest good. And I think you can sense that because um, these two are connected here, I would say. Yeah, and it's definitely something that you're wanting to really pull away from. Like, I feel like this Ten of Wands burden also has to do with love, for sure. Has to do with the burden in love that you've been carrying um, or kind of going through or taking responsibility for or just handling on your own. It's been this long, arduous, grueling journey that you're kind of like wanting to hold back from or just kind of pull back away from into... Um, a different focus, a different area. Because there's um, there's other sources where gifts and abundance want to come to you outside of the place you've been struggling. So it's like any place you've been struggling to maybe have or earn something or to receive something is no longer being in residence with you and you're going to allow anything that wants to come to you to come to you effortlessly, which is what this page of pentacles is representative of. So this hangman is almost kind of saying like, the more you hang back and just be you and be still, the more comes to you. And the more you focus on your craft and your individual way of creating freedom and abundance, the more that it will follow you and be attracted to you. But there is definitely something here happening even could be energetically, could be something tangible too, uh, some type of small offer or romancing or attempts or just some type of energy not in the greatest coherence wanting to come into you, into your energy. And you just, again, I see this hand being up like, I got work to do. You see this? I got work to do. Um, and I'm not taking it right now. So that's what I'm getting in terms of love and in life. King of Pentacles, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at this. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Absolutely. Final outcome here. Okay. You are 100%. Okay. Worthy of abundance. One, freedom. Two, and lots of wealth. And I feel you're really stepping into a place of empowerment when it comes to recognizing that wealth is a source of power. Wealth is a source of freedom. Wealth is a source of something that's going to benefit not only your life, but the lives of others who you're leading tremendously. Now, Ace of Swords asks you to know that you are going to receive all of this, all of the status, all of the empowerment, all of the leadership, all of the money, all the prosperity from coming from a place of integrity with the Ace of Swords. This is truly what allows you to wear this crown um, coming from a place of truth. And this is something I really want to just express to you is all you have to do is come from a place of real truth and integrity in every area of life, particularly when it comes to your work and your expression. And that's where the money will come. That's how the money will come. That's really what I'm getting here is people will respect your word, your actions, who you are, your beingness, um, because and when you come from pure truth. And the more you do that, the more people just want to donate to the cause and to allow you to lead them. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. We have temperance. We have the world. We have strength and the magician. Okay. So again, um, two of wands, you may not exactly know how everything's going to pan out, especially with temperance there. Um, you may be facing multiple different options or opportunities or just kind of, you know, be weighing or considering which specific opportunity to go in order to gain the most freedom and abundance, uh, you will find out with more clarity as time goes on which one is is meant for you. Okay, the temperance is there. So it will, it will uncover itself. It will be shown. Destiny will be revealed for you there in the coming months, especially as eclipse season wears on. Let me get three final outcome cards for my beautiful Taurus. Tauri. 
Empress card, King of Cups, and the... Wow! Okay. Oh my god. Holy cow. That was a surprise, but not really. <laughs> Always pops up in my readings. So, this is now <laughs> your third match in this one tarot spread in terms of the counterpart energy. So, you are absolutely 100% dealing with a Twin Flame energy here. No doubt about it. I mean, we have the Queen and King of Wands, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. And now, for God's sakes, we have the King and Queen of Cups. And I'm pretty sure I channeled that earlier, as in the match you are waiting for. It might have been a different reading. It might have been with Aries. Oh, my gosh. And the Lovers underneath the deck. So, for God's sakes, Taurus... Um, <laughs> Look, even though I sense that this this love is not in a place to be able to substant like substantiate itself in real life, you have to know that this person, whoever this is energetically, there's someone here that that is that is the real deal. Now, what I want to stress is the lovers here are on the bottom of the deck and we have final advice cards coming out with the King and Queen of Cups and the Empress card, meaning that this is ultimately what it wants to go into. Whoever you're meant to be with is meant to be your equal on a soul level, but also on a heart level too. So these are two people who can be together with one another from an open-hearted level. It must be with someone who has as open of a heart as you. And chances are you are also progressing in the area of opening your heart fully to be able to be with this person. Now, likely if this is a twin flame situation, you guys are both opening your heart chakras or opening your hearts in your own ways. And when that happens, when that happens, if that happens, then you will have the opportunity to be together because that's the only way spirit or the universe will allow you both to be together with fully open hearts. Now, I want to stress the lovers is on the bottom of the deck. And what that tells me is that even though this connection is very real, it's not real in the 3D meaning how it's showing up is very different right now than what it's appearing as or what the truth is behind it energetically. And you must be able to differentiate those two things, even if it's confusing. So the trick is, or the hard part is, to not doubt and know that this connection, whatever the one that's coming up for you, that's a very deep soul connection, twin flames, twin soul connection person, that there's a lot of real truth and feelings behind, um, that's a very real thing, um, and it's okay if it's not ready yet. You just have to recognize it's not ready yet and be willing to follow your path until it eventually does become ready. And, by the way, oh my god, I just noticed this. The Empress and the Emperor. <laughs> what is going on? That's so. This is the fourth match in this reading. This is insane. I, I've never done a reading like this, Taurus. I gotta be honest, like this is the craziest in terms of matches with the lovers on the bottom of the deck. You, you cannot plan this, this is crazy. Uh, we have the Empress and the Emperor. We have, we literally have the King and Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands, Queen King of Wands, and we have the lovers, and the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and like do something special I'm just going to clear all this out and just like put all of these together um, and just kind of do this um, for fun. Like, look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is, I'm just going off the rails here, but like you have every, this is not, e well, wait, what? The only thing that's missing is the king of, pentacles and the queen of pentacles but anyways i mean you have look at this this is crazy this is crazy look at all the matches showing up so um <laughs> uh i mean this is this is i don't even know what to say i'm kind of speechless i'm honestly kind of speechless um i'll, I'll just say that uh what you're meant for, Taurus, what you're meant to engage with is the absolute best. The absolute best in love. and Like, your spiritual divine counterpart very clearly is the one that's meant for you. Okay? If they are not your 
true love, divine match, then they are not for you. Okay? I, I mean, w what else can I say? What else can I say with all of this show? This is insane. If they are not your true love, divine, spiritual partner that shows up in real life as your partner, when the time is right, then they are not for you. That's it. You're not here to date, you know, other people who may be just, you know, fish in a fry pan. <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's a term. But you're not here to just go on dating apps and, you know, screw around with that. You're not here to just, you know, maybe consider or try and like scrounge around for love. It's like, no, you have to realize if you're watching this, you're resonating with this, you are destined to be with your match in love and in life. Your match, your spiritual match. True love. And I can't even, I, I don't even know what else to say besides that. But just know, that's what's meant for you. Do not take anything less. You are not meant. And it is, if there is a weight involved, it's worth the weight. So keep going. Um, obviously, with this tarot reading, trust. <laughs> trust, right? And focus on you. Focus on what you need to focus on right now. But also trust that the, the universe has got your back and it's creating something more special than, than you can even imagine. And that's 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 all I'll say. So I'll just leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm a little shell shocked, honestly. That's that's just it's kind of crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy. But anyways, uh, congratulations. Um, I, you know, just to be clear, I don't necessarily feel like this is like coming together in union this month um, because the lovers was on the bottom of the deck. I do feel like it was just meant to show that like if you're curious or wondering about love, like if you had any doubt or questions about love and who you're meant to be with and what's going to happen with that, please don't doubt anymore. <laughs> like, please don't doubt me. <laughs> like, please don't, please don't go on dating apps and try to go out to random bars and pick up on people because you think you have to do that like please don't you 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 have one person you have one person and that person will find you and you will find them okay all right i love you guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll have to see what i title this because i think it's going to be absolutely crazy bye for now oh if you like this video be sure to hit that like button it helps this channel video grow and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content and you want more content like this uh, and, and join the soul family and, um, and we'll go from there. So take care, guys. Bye for now.